Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tricia with another DIY project and I'm doing a furniture makeover. So this is the end result. I went to Goodwill recently and bought two end tables for $16. So if this is something you're interested in seeing, just keep watching. For this project, you will need the following items. Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive, sandpaper or a sand block in 220 grit, a handy paint cup, and a gallon size plastic pad, small paintbrush, and a large paintbrush, paint of your choice, an oil-based primer, and rub and buff wax metallic finish in silver leaf. So we're gonna first start off by cleaning our surface. There's plenty of products out there to clean your surface, but I use mineral spirits. Okay, now that our surface is clean, what we wanna do is to um, measure our side of the table, so two of the sides, and we're just gonna find the center. And then once you find the center, just place a mark in the middle. And I just want to show you, I bought these um, wood accents. Um, they're called wood applique, and they're pretty thin, as you can see. And I thought that it would be a great idea to add some um, detail more detail to the piece because it really was kind of plain so what I'm doing is tracing around the bottom of it and then what I'm gonna do I'm using this rapid fuse um, it is a glue adhesive and it's for plastic wood rubber metal and ceramics so I'm just going to squirt a lot of this on the back of it and it sticks within 30 seconds so pretty quick so I'm just going to find where I put my outline and then I'm just going to press down on it and we're ready to go so now we're going to prime our piece and you want to make sure you get the interior oil based um, primer now we're going to shape the can for a minute and then just spray at least 12 inches away from the surface and make sure you get an even coat Make sure you get everything. Okay, so now it's dry. I'm just going to sand the surface with my sand block. And then I'm just gonna wipe it away with just a wet rag. So now I'm uh, about to paint and I'm using Emerald by Sherwin Williams. Uh, it is a unique, it's in satin, and the color is unique gray. So I'm just going to use my flat head to open up the, the lid. And you can see the color. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to um, stir it up and then put it in my handy dandy paint cup with my paintbrush and just dip it in a little bit and then just rake it on the sides. You don't want a whole lot on your brush when you first start. And you wanna make sure you go in the same direction. Or you can use a foam roller, which is easier too, if you would like. It's your choice. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna do the edges. Now onto the sides, working my way around the wood um, applique. Since I have a big brush, then I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get into the details, so I'm just gonna do whatever I can with the big brush and then uh, pull out my small brush and then get into the grooves, just like so. Ooh. 
looking good. So now I want to tape around the trim areas. I'm using painter's tape, um, and this is perfect for edges. Uh, but this is not a straight edge, so it's a little tricky when I went around it. And you don't necessarily have to use tape if you don't want to. If you had got it like that and got precision, um, you can skip this step. And now I'm going to apply this rub and buff um, metallic um, silver leaf wax. And it's a small tube, but a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just gonna use this um, brush, small brush to apply it. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit on the tip of the brush and just um, kind of like spread it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna start using my finger. and you do that all the way around. And that's what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? It's very subtle, but it's nice. So now we're just gonna remove the painter's tape. So now we want to get into the grooves. And then we're going to apply it on the side. Then after that, I'm going to apply it on the wood applique. So you're just gonna do it on the top part. It's not like traditionally um, just spray paint, painting it silver. I kinda wanted the um, unique gray to kinda show also. So all you do is just put a little bit on the brush and then you use your finger and just rub it on. And then once it dries, then you can buff it and it, it makes it more shinier. It makes it shiny, shinier. <laughs> Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay, there were some areas that I really needed to touch up, so I'm just gonna use a small brush for that. And then I need to throw away my paint. All I need to do is just zip it up and throw it away. And you're done. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Can you imagine I just paid $16 for this? Not just one, I got two. Can't beat that, right? Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below and on Instagram at Designs by Tricia. What DIY project would you like to see next? Add your idea in the comment section below. See you next time.